So there you are, you're driving home from a hard day at work and you get uh, air suspension, HCC and active warnings, the orange and amber lights uh, and then you get the uh, the hold, hold lamp and everything. So we know it's gone into a soft fault because if it was a hard fault these two would be off. It would be completely blank on the height selector. Um, haven't got that plugged in yet. Um, but yeah, so we've got uh, air suspension, HTC inactive. Uh, we've got the ABS lamp and the brake warning lamps there. That's the red ones, obviously, because I've got the handbrake on. Right, so what we do is we've got uh, we've got the iCar soft here. Just ready to plug it in. Plug it into the diagnosis. It's hard to do it. There we go. There we go. The iCar soft powers up. There we go, so we're going to Diagnostics, Land Rover, 1.25, which I believe is the latest so far. Bum, bum, bum. And there we go, Range Rover, isn't it? And then, bum, bum, that one. Do a smart scan. Hope you can see the screen, alright? Sorry for the way. I'm on my mobile phone, so it's probably a bit wavy around here. God, that constant autofocus is a bit of annoying, isn't it? Anyway, right, so. Let's have a little look. Air suspension, enter. Read any fault codes. Only one CAN bus fault. Now that usually comes up if it's an ABS fault and not an air suspension fault. And I'll tell you what, it's all gone. Hey, eh? That's still in hold. Can I turn the hold off? I can. It's cleared itself, but there's nothing in the fault memory. I wonder if it was an ABS fault. Let's go clear anyway. Uh, F2, OK. Erase operation done. F1 back read fault codes, let's see if anything pops up, nothing's come back. Now that usually comes up if it's an ABS fault. Let's see if there's anything in the story. Steering angle plausibility, oh, steering angle plausibility, it could be the steering angle sensor getting a bit worn. Let's, uh, let's go back clear the fault memory. Are you sure you want to uh, erase uh, F2 to OK? Erasing fault codes, erase operation down, back. Let's go back, let's have a look. No faults found. OK. Is there a steering angle sensor? One on here. I don't think there is. No, there isn't, because it's all tied in through the ABS system. Um, let, let's move this off the steering wheel. Let's, let's run the steering so, full tilt one way, and then full tilt the other. Oh, tight. Go back. Oh, certainly not getting any steering angle warnings this time. How bizarre. Let's pop this back up here. Let's have a quick look back in the ABS settings. Read fault memory, no steering code. Could have been just a spurious, just a, a, a minor hiccup somewhere. Let's go let's go back. Uh, no, let's stay in the ABS. I wonder if we've got view live data. Can we see the steering angle? Yeah, steering angle. Let's select that, and there's F2 to start. So we can see it there. Let's move that off of off of the steering wheel again. Don't know how well you can see that. I'm now turning the wheel. It seems to move 
fairly smoothly. Can I get it to zero? Yeah, come on. Ah. No, anyway. Um, yeah. I mean, we can put that as a wave. So there we go. signal gets a bit noisy there. Let's slow it down a little bit. Right, let's go. Right, let's go all the way to one way. You can see the signal noise is a it's a bit of signal noise. It jumps around a little bit. Oh, that's full lock. Let's go back slowly. Center. Oh, jump straight down. Ah. No, it doesn't actually jump. It's just it falls off the end of the graph and the graph really wraps around. And that's lock the other way. Hmm. Intriguing. Anyway. Didn't seem to be anything to Land Rover ring. Everybody's everyone who likes Land Rover's got to have a Land Rover ring. That is a definite Land Rover ring and a big watch. There you go, Land Rover. Anyway. Um yeah, steering angle fault then. Okay. Happy.